Hello, it's me, and today I'll be talking about something that's really important and needed to be addressed. I want to discuss about racism as the main topic and Black Lives Matter. The Black Lives Matter movement was set up to help end police brutality and end all racist ideology against our community. I have been following the news about the protests which have taken place in many countries around the world, which was tribute to George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and all the black lives lost to police brutality. I saw a video about George Floyd being restrained restrained by a police officer who was white. I felt the police had dealt with the situation wrongly, which caused... Floyd to lose his life. I do not recommend anybody to watch this video. I do believe the police are being too aggressive in how they handle suspects. This does not only happen in the US, but in the UK too, in how they do stop and search. I was always afraid that this situation will happen to me. Racism has has been going on since the ancient times as our ancestors have experienced such prejudice against them. There was a man which the campus in my uni was named after since has since been removed due to his links with the transatlantic slave trade. I do feel sorry for any black person who does not know their African roots. I was helping out in the session last week and we spoke about social justice, and we did one activity, which was to hold up ten fingers, and you put one finger down if any situation has happened to you, based on the statements that was given. This was inspired by the TikTok challenge I watched on YouTube. One statement given was the supermarket situation, where I was with my sister, and a member of staff started following me around the shop. My sister didn't spend too long in the shop as she got the items she needed. I felt very uncomfortable and he started asking me whether I needed help. I stared at him thinking he was following me the whole time. He started saying, don't you understand English? Do you need help or not? I just ignored him. Another thing was the racial slur being targeted at me. I went to an all-black church and I heard people gossiping about me, saying I wasn't black enough and I was too light to be a Nigerian. Some people went as far to call me a fake and a fraud for, for saying that I lied about where I came from. I felt isolated and unsure in who I am. I felt like I didn't belong anywhere. I do believe the young generation, since they are the future of this world, needed to be educated at an early age so they are able to bring change and challenge people's perceptions.